Hey YouTube, this is Everything Epan here, and today we're going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Longhorn Build 3718 in VirtualBox. This is one of the first builds of Longhorn. 3683 was the first one. I was going to try and do 3708, but that was not working, so I moved on to the next one, which is 3718, or I think it was 3706. That was before this, but uh, so a um, uh, link in the description will be for a ISO that's an MS DOS ISO. I'll show you that in the tutorial. Also, link in the description to WinWorld PC for the uh, uh, Longhorn 3718 ISO. I'll put that in there, and then the BIOS state will be in the description as well. But I'll also show it in the video. So let's go ahead and create the new virtual machine here, and we're going to call it Windows Longhorn Build. 3718 and make sure to select your version as Windows XP 32 bit. Click next and you need to leave it at the recommended RAM because if I, I'd like, for example, I went up to 512 megabytes, it gave me the blue screen. So you do not want to bump this up any more than what it is. Leave it at 192 megabytes, click next, and then go ahead and leave this at 10 gigabytes as well. After you do that, go ahead and click settings up in the top left here. Go to storage, go to the empty disk, and then you need to insert this MS-DOS 6.22 ISO that is included in the description. And uh, need to start up the virtual machine. And then when the virtual machine is started up here, you're going to need to uh, change the bio state when this loads up here. So this does have a CD-ROM driver just for any curiosity. Uh, there is a CD-ROM driver included. So need to go ahead and type the word date click enter it'll say today's current date and then what you need to type in is the bios date which is 11-20-2002 which is november 20th 2002 click enter and that should go and work for you now you need to go ahead and insert the uh 3718 uh, longhorn iso which will be in the description go ahead and reset the virtual machine and then it's going to load up into the windows setup here and into the first parts of the Longhorn setup. So this uh, is very, very similar to a Windows XP setup. In fact, the setup will be actually like identical to Windows XP because really not much uh, setup from the setup screens was changed um, from Windows XP. So of course it'll say Windows XP Professional Setup. So go ahead and click Enter on this, and then click F8. To agree to the terms and then go click enter to install into that unpartitioned space and we're going to go ahead and format this with the ntfs file system quick click enter to continue it's going to format that partition for you and then it's going to copy the files over onto the hard drive so um this process won't take long whatsoever so just kind of just let this go for a little while a um, couple of minutes and uh, it should be finished so I'll be right back after the uh, file copying process is finished okay so the files are finished copying over and we can go ahead and reboot the machine now and we're going to go ahead and do so by clicking enter and now it's going to reboot the machine it'll say press any key to boot from the CD please do not do that or you will go in a consistent loop and uh, of course it will still say Windows XP Professional the only thing that's changed about the boot screen is that the uh, copyright date set from 1985 to 2003 instead of uh, copyright from 1985 to 2001. So now it's going to come up with this Windows XP uh, setup screen just like the normal Windows XP uh, would do. So um, nothing really changed from the setup screen wise, but when you start to get into the desktop and everything and the logon screen, it's definitely changed. So um, this part of the setup will be absolutely identical to the Windows XP part of setup. So it's going to go through installing devices, and then eventually it will pop up to the uh, region and language information, and then uh, we can continue with the next part of setup. And, of course, uh, the time will go down as well. And if this just pops up, uh, it says your system is low on virtual memory, that is okay. Just click OK on this, and it will be be able to run just fine that's just because uh, there's only 192 megabytes of memory but if you go over that you will likely get a blue screen so that's why we leave it at that so uh, it's going to continue to go through installing devices and then once it's finished with that it's going to pop up with this regional and language option screen go ahead and specify your own click next to continue and i'm going to just type in anything here i'll just type in windows user i don't normally type to type in my own name just in case i have to uh, link a virtual hard drive in the description. Uh, now it's going to come up with the product key. 
um, on here, and I am actually going to type it in this time and show you guys what it is. I will put it in the description with the ISO, uh, just in case this is not uh, working for you guys, uh, or if you can't read it. That's what I meant. If you can't read it, I'll put it in the description. Then I'm just going to call this Longhorn 3718. Click uh, next, and then uh, make sure that this is still set at November 20th, 2002, and specify your time zone. Click next. That's going to do the installing network, and then it should pop up with the screen that will say typical or custom. Just leave it at typical and click next. Um, leave this at no and type in work group in all caps in the uh, box here if it's not done so already. Go ahead and click next. And now it's going to copy files over and install Longhorn Build 3718. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this sit for a little while and I'll be back with you guys once we hit our second restart point. Alright, so it did reboot after it was finished. Now it's going to go back into, uh, it says Windows XP Professional, but obviously it's not Windows XP. There you go. Quickly flashed, yep, right on the bottom right here it says Longhorn XP Professional Build 3178. And now it's going to do the display settings where it's going to make it just a little bit bigger. And click OK on the top left here. And then when it gets into the setup, there should be a little bit of different music. It's not the same one as Windows XP. You'll tell once it uh, comes up here. So it should just come up here in just a second. So you can tell that it sounds just a little bit different. There's a uh, different music uh, that comes onto this. So click next to continue this. It's going to check uh, for your internet connectivity. I mean, you can skip this if you want. Just say no. This computer directs connects direct. Actually, no. You want to do local area network. Click next. Click no on this. Click next. And then uh, I'm going to type in a user for this, I guess. No matter what you put in there, click next, and now it's ready to go. So you see that this changed. You log on screen, and you'll. Sound is pretty glitchy, but yes, still uses the Windows XP sound. So here is Windows Longhorn build 3718, and you have successfully installed it in this virtual machine. So I want to thank you guys for watching this uh, tutorial. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. Comment your ideas for future tutorials down below or betas or whatever. And don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.